Well, my name is Ricky Clogus, and I'm head uh, at the University of Wyoming in their Department of Art and Art History. Uh, I've been there for 27 years, um, and I teach all levels of painting, uh, illustration and watercolor, but uh, I'm also a figurative painter myself. I do a lot of um, large-scale, realistic, almost hyper-realistic paintings of figures, but also landscapes, um, and sometimes figures in the landscape. So uh, it's uh, a subject matter of figuration is something that I, I'm really aligned with in my own creative work. Being a juror is a really interesting um, position to be in because you end up filtering through a lot of really good work that in other times you might have accepted into the exhibition but maybe just didn't quite work with the overall concept of the exhibition. So I was really looking for work again that was, um, that showed a variety of approaches to what is the human story. Uh, but also how people think about the figure um, and how they depict the figure. Uh, so I really wanted to make as much variety, a, a variety of choices that demonstrated a wide variety of approaches by the artists. And, and it's always tricky because you do, you do get rid of work that at another time for a different exhibition would have been perfect. Uh, and it's, 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 a tricky situation to be in because you, having been in the other side of it myself and been juried into exhibitions or not juried into exhibitions, you always have to understand that the juror comes in with an idea about maybe how they would like this exhibition to come together. And so you really have to kind of be very mindful of the approach and the process, but also know that some very, very good work was selected and some very, very good work was rejected. I spent a lot of time with these works um, in digital format when I was during the exhibition. And I went through them many, many times before um, kind of condensing the exhibition down to the work that would work in this space. And um, then some time had gone by, and so when I came back into the gallery, it was really nice. It was almost like, oh, I remember these paintings. I remember these drawings. I remember these photographs. So. Uh, it was actually really nice to see the work in person, uh, get a sense of the physicality of the, the work, um, but also see it all together. Um, because what I was really looking for when I was during it was, was an interesting journey between disciplines, uh, media, but also representation. And I think that uh, I, it feels very balanced to me. So I was very pleased to see the work um, up and how it was displayed. I think it's the human condition. I think that there is something that we all um, connect to when we see depictions of the figures, um, of, of the figure in space. It is, it is work I'm personally drawn to. Um, it's work that I like to look at myself. Uh, but there is something about the, the depiction of the figure in a variety of, of situations and forms that I think we all relate to and we can all identify with. And um, there's just something about the narrative quality of figural work where you're telling a story and it's a story that you can inhabit as a viewer. And so those are things that I, I find particularly intriguing in my own work, but also it's work that I'm particularly drawn to. Well, I think, uh, you know, there is a lot of figurative work out there. Uh, there's a lot of bad figurative work. Um, I think I, what I'm looking for is, is maybe honesty, uh, a, a different level of observation or interpretation of the figure uh, or abstraction of the figure, but coming from a place where you know that that artist is really trying to say something with that work. Um, there's a lot of, uh, life drawings and uh, figure studies that are fine. Um, that's what you do, that's how you learn to work with the figure and draw and paint from the figure. But um, figure is so much bigger and broader than just a person inhabiting a space, although that's part of it. So what I look for is maybe emotion, 
um, and honesty in the work um, or, or ambition, you know, something that takes you in a slightly different direction. Uh, so those are all elements that come together and, and, you know, something can be very abstracted but also very emotive and very figural at the same time. And so it doesn't always have to be pictorial or illustrative. It can be quite far from there but still really be a relatable image as a figural piece. So the uh, first honorable mention award uh, was given to Paul Reiber. Uh, it's called Softened by Grief. There weren't a lot of sculptural submissions uh, and I was really pleased to see a few um, sculptural pieces that were submitted. Uh, and this one really struck me because of its emotion. Um, also just the, the sort of softness and abstraction of the form that still references the human body, but also the incredible expression of grief. Uh, that the artist was able to capture in this wood. And I think it's nutmeg, California nutmeg. Uh, and I just found it to be a really compelling piece. Uh, and seeing it digitally and then coming into the gallery and seeing it in person it, it is no less impactful. So it's, I think it's a very, um, very powerful piece of human emotion. So the, the other honorable mention award I gave to um, this photograph, uh, it's by Dave Hansen, it's called Ascension. Uh, and this is a piece that really stood out to me when I was jurying the exhibition online uh, because it just captured such a beautiful sense of light, uh, but also it felt very referential of a Renaissance painting. Uh, there was something very angelic and the way the, the movement of the arms was captured that references wings. Um, but it has this wonderful softness to it as well. So I, I thought it was really beautiful and it, it still stands out in person. So I gave the bronze award to this painting here. Um, it's called Immigrant Athlete and it's uh, by George Afedzi Hughes. <laughs> I hope I said that right. Um, but these three pieces actually um, were all quite compelling to me because they, they didn't necessarily um, go straight in for a pictorial representation. They were very much more symbolic and yet they really stood out in that they had a, um, a definite message uh, and a paint application that I found really intriguing, very thick, very brushy. Um, but vigorous at the same time. And there's something about the, um, the representation of a figure without representing the figure or being very direct about the representation that I thought was very refreshing in an exhibition like this and very necessary to include. Uh, and there was something about these paintings that really stood out to me in this one in particular um, because it's someone of color and the negation of the face with these sort of black and white checks, kind of a black, gray and white checks that um, kind of almost look pixelated at the same time. So, you know, there's something obviously going on with the story, um, but the way it's been represented, it, it's quite compelling. And it's something that uh, I really remembered and appreciated and saw in person and also felt that it, it captured what I thought it did in the digital format. So um, they're quite powerful pieces and I thought really important to include. So the uh, silver award I gave to this um, mixed media drawing, it's by Derek Wilkinson and it's called Ellie Walking and it's one of three submissions, um, all of the same subject matter. Uh, but this one in particular I really liked. Um, I thought that the, the combination of media was really beautifully done. But also there was something um, about the hand gesture of the, the baby girl uh, that's almost referential of a, a religious icon or painting. Uh, but also there's something about those first steps that a child takes and that wobbliness that's so incredibly human um, and so real and honest. Uh, that I thought they just really stood out to me and I think that they are really beautifully done, beautifully rendered, but also incredibly emotional. Uh, and so they, um, they stood out to me for that very reason. So 
So the gold award I gave to this painting, uh, it's a large oil painting by Mark Krieger. It's called The Unraveling. Um, and again, when I was during the exhibition, this painting stood out even in a digital format, but I wasn't sure about the scale. Uh, and something about the ambition of the scale of this painting, um, as well as the subject matter really stood out to me. Uh, there's something very um, strong and prescient about the subject matter. If you think about Syria or some of the things that are going on currently in the world, <clears throat> there, it definitely does tie in, but yet at the same time, it's not completely referential of any one particular incident or situation in the world. It kind of references a bigger, broader conversation, uh, but it's done in also a very beautifully rendered figural painting. So I particularly appreciate the handling of uh, the quality of the light, the quality of the cloth, which is difficult to do, um, and also the emotional connection of the face, especially the young girl. So for, for me, this kind of encompasses a good ambitious narrative figural painting that tells a very interesting story that's very much of today. And um, I really wanted to recognize that in the award. Um, so I, I am very grateful to have been asked to jury this exhibition. Uh, it's always interesting to be on the other side of a process like this, having been on the other side so many times. Uh, all of the artists who are in the exhibition should be commended. Uh, it's, a, it's a really good, coherent exhibition. Uh, but also, I recognize that it's always a risk as an artist to enter a show and not know where you're going to go with this. If you're, you know, you, you're investing in shipping your work to this exhibition and you, know, you don't know what's going to come of it or what's going to happen. And it's always, um, it is a risky thing to do as an artist, but it's an important part of what we do. And um, I still enter juried exhibitions myself. Uh, they are um, a way to kind of show your work amongst other artists that you would not normally have ever shown in. Uh, and I think that uh, it creates an interesting conversation amongst the pieces. So it's been, a, it's been a really great experience for me to see all the work together and to see all of the wonderful pieces that are included in this show.